Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. Let's do this. We are on turn two. Yoink. Okay. Now, uh, Peter O'Toole, we're trying to hoover up clues here. So he's going to go one, two, three, and pick up this one. Yoink. Which, of course, gives him an extra clue down here. Now he just needs two more to complete that. Meanwhile, William Yorick, uh, I've got to change this in the mod. I've set these to be uh, figurines, because I like the way when you pick them up, they automatically flip over. But when you load a game, it also flips them over, which really sucks. So I'm going to have to change that. Anyway, he's delayed, so he underlays. And I think I'll just leave everything else the same. Over here, first we get two bucks. And we roll a die. For the retainer. Anything but a one, please. Yeah, blam. Okay, nice. And she's going to go one, two, three into the curiosity shop. Now, this girl is going to stay at the curiosity shop, but she's got four. So she's going to use this to go tap. And that is law minus two, which is five. So that gives her three dice. Your blammo. Nice, she passes, but she has... Uh, careful reader, so she never loses sanity, so no sanity loss, and she now gets to draw a spell. Bind monster. Actually, someone told me in Rita's. Where was Rita? Rita was at the Independence Square. She gains two cloaks, clue two tokens, and a spell, and loses one stamina. We really stuffed up her turn, so she actually lost one stamina. And she would have drawn that spell. Okay. So she draws a spell. And it's Voice of Ra. And then she's also going to do this one here. Which is a Law minus 2 check as well. And this one gives her... to. It's uh, 2 Sanity again. But of course, you know, it doesn't matter. We don't lose Sanity ever. But what's interesting about this one is that we can choose any spell we want. So that's a pass. If you pass, search the spell deck for a spell of your choice. Beautiful. So we are going to do that. We have to discard this now. Now, the spell we want, let's have a quick look. There's quite a lot of spells in this hundred whatever deck. It's going by icon. It's like a metallurgy spell or something. It allows you to just earn money every turn. Metal, what's it called? Steel life is good. You know, a chemical process. Bam, that's what we're taking. Oops, I'm not supposed to shuffle the deck. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We haven't discarded any spells yet, so that's fine. Okay, so a chemical process is cast and get three bucks oh it's got a sanity cost i thought that had no sanity cost you know what stuff this it's got a sanity cost i'm not going to spend a sanity every time just for money i think i'll just get a wither or oh, i won't get wither i'll get the new wither there's a, mo a better version of wither now storm of spirits This came from uh, the King in Yellow. Basically, it's just like Wither. It's a zero sanity cost, minus one modifier, though. You get three combat, but it also gives you the ability to use your law. And so if you give it to someone with high law, like this girl here, for example, she has six law. So her combat will be six, even if her will is at three. Plus she gets the three plus the two from the hands because this is uh hmm, actually you know what two withers would be better right two withers would be plus eight 
and this thing is actually plus five. But we also get another two from here. Yeah, I still think it's better because of being able to use the law for combat. Whatever, that's the one we're getting. Next. Okay, you also get two dollars. And you have to roll for your retainer. And you are in the other world, my friend. Whoop, almost hit the one. Yoink. And over here, we have this bloke. So he's just going to go and pick up that clue again. This time we're going to go up one. We only need one movement. And of course, every time I go to the woods, I like to have my sneak up super high. So we'll just do that. And she is in the magic shop. I don't really know where to send her. I don't think it's worth her. And what I might do is go one, two, three to South Church. Actually, I'm going to go to boarding house. Angie. Uh, let's kill something with Angie. What's she got? One, two, three. Let's kill this thing here. This is a magical immunity, a physical immunity, but we are a magic user. We needed three movement to get to there, right? One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, so we can't cast her manuscript, unfortunately. Okay. So her will is three minus one. So that is two die. And that is a pass. And now we have Wither, which is one, she's got one fight plus one, two, three, plus one for four. Wow, is that all she's got? Five, three dice for two hits. That's freaking terrible. Uh, we're not actually going to do that. I thought she had more spells than that. Instead, she's going to go one, two, three to the bank of Arkham. And in Arkham, she's going to go safety deposit. It's a luck minus two check. So that is one, two. That gives her one dice. If I fail, I get two clues. If I pass, I get a unique item. You blamo, you blamo. So that's two clues. Well, she has six clues now. Awesome. Okay, and that is it. Let's now do the events. You blamo. Uh, where is he? He's at the Silver Twilight Lodge. You hear quiet sounds of an intruder. If you investigate, you find a woman dressed in black. She attacks you as soon as she sees you. Pass a fight minus one check to subdue her long enough to explain your investigation. If you pass, you find out that her name is Ruby Standish and that she was robbing the lodge. However, upon hearing your tale, she agrees to join you. Take her a la card if it's available. Okay, so what we've got to do at the setup is shuffle the allies and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can only have 11 total allies in any given game. So let's uh, send that to the box. And let's just see if Rudy is available. Well, I guess if we fail, we, we don't get anything. There's nothing bad happens if we fail. So let's just do it. So it's fight minus one. That's a one die. Blam. Oh, she's got seven clues. Is that worth re-rolling for? Let's just check out if she's in the deck at all. Is it R U B Y? Yeah, she's not even in the deck, so I'm not going to spend any clues on that. Your blamo, William. Uh, he was. That's right, he was delayed, so he's still at the Historical Society. You find a book with two of its pages stuck together. Pass a luck minus one check. That is three dice. Uh, 
to pull them apart without damaging them. Between two pages is a magical incarnation. Draw one spell. Yoink. What do you got for us? For C. Oh, beautiful. This is a great spell. Cast an exhaust to re-roll any one skill check you just made. Fantastic, fantastic card. You're blown. Okie dokie. You're in the curiosity shop and you're going to go one, two, three. Oh, Elder Sign. We're definitely going to get that. So that is five bucks. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not even going to bother looking at the other ones. And she's also in the Acreosity shop. So she's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, shit. I just called five. So that's... We're going to get three. I was thinking about my... Uh, Elder sign. <laughs> okay, what have you got for us? Illuminated Manuscript and the Book of the Delver. So there's actually quite a lot of good cards here. I think I would like to... Oh, what I would really like is get extra speed on her. I think I might just take... When you gain this card, choose a street area in Arkham and place this card there. Any investigator ending his movement in that street may spend sanity up to his focus. For every sanity spot spent, the investigator gains one stamina. It's not bad, the Throne of Corsica. This thing gives me more spells. We've got an infinite spell draw here. This thing can get us a skill. I think I might actually like to do this, try and get a... So that is four, right? One, two, three, four. Just try and get a, uh, a plus speed, and then we can do multiple. Oh, we can already do multiple. So it's four, this is two. And this is two. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. So that is, let's get, yeah, let's just take the Book of Delva instead. So we get two bucks back. Nice. Okay, he's in Corsica or whatever. He's at the woods. Hearing someone approach, you quickly climb a tree. It turns out to be several members of the Sheldon gang. Nervously, you listen as they start talking directly under the tree you're in. Pass a sneak minus two check to remain unnoticed and gain two clues. Sneak minus two is two die. Could really not do with this. You blam. That's a pass. Two more clues. And you are at the boarding house. Jazz Mulligan, the head janitor of the college, comes by for one of Ma's famous apple pie. While he's visiting, he demonstrates how he got his nickname by playing some soulful blues on his harmonica. Gain one sanity. We are at full sanity, so that does nothing. And Bank of Arkham. Let's draw that. Looking down at your bank statement, it appears that the bank has made an error in your favor. When you try to bring it to the teller's attention, she primly tells you, we don't make mistakes here at the First Bank of Arkham. Shrugging, you keep the money. Gain three bucks. Thank you. Wish my bank was that nice. Or stupid, which I don't know quite how to pronounce it. And that's it. And there is one guy in another world. So let's just quickly do that. Georgie. He's in the City of the Great Race, which is other. Press a luck minus one check to find the gate back. If so, immediately return. Well, that's pretty nice. Bammo. Yeah, blomp. Okay, so he wins. That's back he goes. Uh, so he's at City of the Great Race. So there's actually two City of the Great Races here. I think I'd rather go to this one and have the opportunity to kill that bikey before he flies into the sky. Because they're both the city of the great race. Unfortunately, he's only got one clue, so he cannot seal this gate. But actually, we just picked up an elder sign, didn't we? Boom. He's got the gate box too. Oh, you know, I wish I didn't do that. I wish I lost. I wish I failed that because I would have rather a gate to come over and at a higher frequency location. Whatevs, that is that. He gets a gate marker. 
Okay. Yeah, oh well. Mythos card time. Ya blamo. It's a new environment. It's an urban environment, so it is not a weather. The witch house. Okay, lucky we can go to the witch house. And that's two monsters. Oh, wow. Horrible. We have moons move and pluses move. So moon moves and pluses move. What's this thing? That's a circle. That's it. So we have one, two, three, four, five monsters out. We have really, really need to kill. Black Cave gets a clue. Okay. Any investigator who ends his movement in the Mistatonic University streets may pass a law minus one check to gain one clue by reading the hieroglyphics on the artifact exhibit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, and a Doom token, of course. Yoink. Okay, so we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing all right. We have to spend the whole of next turn killing things, but we really have a, not got a great selection of weapons out. Uh, we still have no cultists. We want to get some cultists for two of our personal stories require dead cultists. Uh, where's this guy down here? Yeah, okay, so he's going to kill this, which will then free up him to go to the science building or the graveyard to get, or the black cave, big pardon, to get his thing finished. We'll kill this thing here. She can do it. She's got plenty of weapons, I believe. Oh no, she wants to get to here. Yeah, so she'll come down, kill this guy, and then this girl will come down and pick up the Elder Sign and give it to him. That'll work out really well. The Elder Sign have to be done in the movement phase? Any phase. Beautiful. Okay, well, we've got our plan for next turn, and I'll see you guys next time.